Jet, you look amazing. Thank you for joining us. I assume your life is insane right now, trying to keep up with all the cases of COVID in the MLB. It's, it's unbelievable. And, it, and it's unbelievable because we saw what happened with the Miami Marlins, and you figured that that was going to be like a warning shot, you know, that people were going to get that this thing is very transmissible and it can really harm your season. And now the St. Louis Cardinals haven't played since uh, July 29th. And I have no idea when they're going to be playing next. And you got Cleveland Indians pitchers who are leaving the hotel to go kick it in Chicago and uh, end up getting sent home. And like, like Zach Plesak, who had just pitched really well on Saturday, went out in Chicago Saturday night. Indians found out about it and and sent him home they didn't even like let him go they, they were like no dude you got to get a car and drive back to cleveland Jeez. <laughs> so that's i assume that's a warning shot to not only and i think i saw you tweet about this not only to other players for the cleveland team but also for the entire mlb about hey this is probably how we should handle this if we want to be able to be a self-governing body which is what they have to be both individual the players yep. and the teams to do so this may be the drastic measures but to the mlb's credit they have probably gotten a lot more COVID cases than they imagined they were going to get, and they are still playing right now. Is that the the idea that you're hearing? Is like, hey, it does not matter. We are going to have this season regardless. I think once the Marlins outbreak hit and baseball just pushed right through that, like, you know, they lost more than half of their big league roster and they were like, you know, damn the torpedoes, full speed ahead. We are going to power on through this. That it was clear at that point that baseball's MO is we are going to try to finish this season. And then the Cardinals outbreak happens, and it's just like, okay, we've, we've dealt with this before. We've seen this. We're going to reschedule a bunch of games. We're going to try to figure out. But the, the Cardinals are they're a little bit different from the Marlins, Pat, because they actually went and traveled to you know what i've lost track of where it's the hell right, they are these right, days right. i don't know they traveled though and then had two more cases uh pop up on the team another case after that so they have to shut down for another three to five days and who knows at what point they're going to be able to come back now rob manford the commissioner has to look at them and say okay you're not going to play 60 games this year so either we're going to uh use your winning percentage to determine whether you make the playoffs or we're just going to, you know, keep you out of the playoffs altogether. And I heard from a player last night who said, if the Cardinals play 45 games, it's 15 games less than we're playing, and end up in the playoffs instead of us because of winning percentage, uh, that is a load of something I can't say because I work for ESPN, but you can fill it in because this is your show. Yeah, you're talking about a load of grumpy, a load of doo-doo, a load of crap, yeah. a load of... Uh, um, Dookie. De deuce, yeah, all that. You're talking about a load of which I can't say, actually, because we're on uh, Westwood One radio station. We are. We right. are. You're damn right we are. Is baseball going to finish this season? Has it proved that baseball will finish this season by any means necessary? No, I'm not there at this point that it's going to because, listen, I think all it takes is a, a pair of outbreaks at the same time. And, uh, listen, since the Cardinals, uh, there hasn't been, you know, I don't think there have been any positive tests in baseball outside of the Cardinals over the last week. Um, but it's, it's always there. And that's the scariest part about this. It's always there. It's always lurking. It takes one mistake from someone. It may not even be a mistake from someone. You may go home and, and your grandma who you lived with may have gone out and, and brought COVID back. I mean, there, there are so many oh, grandma, different friend. scenarios where this thing completely can fall apart. Uh, baseball is going to try and push through it, but there has to be a breaking point. I just hope that we don't find out what it is. Um, Astros Athletics, they fight each other. We find out no COVID is exchanged there. Will they let the managers fight with the umpires and the players fight with each other a little bit more? No chance. There, 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 is, there is going to be a nuclear suspension coming for Alex Cintron, the Astros hitting coach, who, who went all like, uh, who, who goes who goes like this is it like is it like adam cole with you oh yeah like that that is kind of what he did didn't he and then what happened yeah. night night kind of did night night jet